Welcome back. We have talked uh, quite a bit about autism uh, on this program, uh, but I have Brad here with me. And Brad, uh, we've spoken about this over the time, and this is a personal issue for you. You've championed change. You've gone up to Albany to the legislature and tried to push through. Uh, give a status check where we are right now, especially with your efforts in Albany. Yeah, sure. I mean, as far as Albany's concerned, we're starting the implementation of uh, health care reform where health care providers, and uh, this has nothing to do with Obamacare, by the way, it's just health care. It's a mandate in New York State that health care providers have to provide yep. for therapies for those with autism. It only made sense because if you had any other disease, they would provide for those medications. And since there are no particular pharmaceutical medications yet, it's therapies that help those with autism, and it's proven. So thankfully that that has started the implementation. It's been a little rough around the edges. New York State uh, is really grabbing, putting their arms around it and making the health insurers comply. And, and so far, it has been a wonderful uh, movement. This very for, personal you know, to yes. you. You have a son with autism. And you, yeah. You've talked about this. And for so many families and the numbers of people, uh, maybe because the diagnoses are better or maybe for a whole other contributing other list here, so many families are dealing with this issue. And I know, um, not because you're sitting here, but what you worked on um, and others as well, it makes a material difference in helping people because literally um, they had nowhere else to turn here and they needed help. Absolutely. It was, it's, it's, it's a necessary fact of life. Uh, the diagnoses of those with autism is just, are just continued to increase. Uh, the next thing, the phase of autism that we have to concern ourselves with is, uh, is people becoming adults. Uh, developmentally disabled adults and where will they go and this is an issue now yep. in New York State that we're facing is you know where will the housing come from uh, where will jobs come from and all those things so uh, you know even though those are focuses for everybody in New York State you know where are you gonna live how are you gonna make a living but it's even more so important for those with developmentally disabled family members. And honestly, people aren't ready yet as states or localities. They haven't addressed this yet. You're they're finally got going up the curve here, but this is going to be a reality um, that so many people are going to be addressing. Bravo, thank you. All right, we're going to wrap things up on RFL right after this. Stay with us.